I know you read the surplus plutonium disposition environmental impact statement a lot more closely than I did. Did you see any serious analysis of climate change and how that would affect their plans in that document? Yes. We had uh, been requesting the DOE include climate change in their environmental impact statements for back for a year for back for a few years and they've recently started doing that. And so there is a page saying how much estimated CO2 that this will generate. But uh, uh, so we do have those numbers. That's the, the kind of the, the front end of climate change, right. but the back end is how the climate is changing over time, creating more drought, more fires, and more water scarcity. Right, how climate change affects, so, right, so that's how they analyzed how this, that proposal affects climate change, but they, didn't, they did not analyze how climate change would affect their proposal. So we're, we're in a historic drought right now, and we're kind of running out of water. How much water do they use on a daily or annual basis at Los Alamos, and is there a serious risk that they'll run out of water? And if so, how would that impact their safety? In order to continue the operations that they're proposing, they will have to take water out of the Rio Grande. They have a... <clears throat> they have a... Uh, the Chama San Juan diversion, that which is um, you know where they is the where they diverted water out of the San Juan River, you know, in a tunnel basically, and, and put it into the Chama, and that's where the uh, city of Albuquerque, the city of Santa Fe, are getting have some acre feet annually allotted to them. Los Alamos, in order to meet their needs in the future, will have to will have to draw water out of their out of this out of the Rio Grande also. And they, um, you know, there's so it'll have to be another another surface diversion like that. And and the answer to your question, I don't have those numbers right on my head, but it's it's millions and millions of, of you know, gallons per year for every operation. Do they have any con contingency plan if the Rio Grande runs dry? Mm, I mean, not that I read. came down from Taos the other day, and I saw it's pretty low right now. Yeah, right. And so, <laughs> right now. To be sure, you know, Los Alamos has already negotiated or paid for a certain number of acre feet out of the Rio Grande every year that they're not using. Um, you know, the Santa Fe is now using their allotment or their negotiated amount. You know, Los Alamos is lining up trying to figure out how to, how to, get, how to you know, suck some water out of the river also. So finally, if, um, if they did run out of water, how would that impact the safety at the facility? Well, it probably wouldn't impact the safety so much as just their operations. So it actually would make the thing safer because they would quit doing stuff. But, you know, that's kind of backwards. <laughs> okay.